Hello guys and welcome back to the day 6 of my beginner account and let me first show you what, what have we got. So Iron Black Challenge already ended and what do you think? We got him all both of the times. Of course we have to skip the boss battle of the last fight because it's just impossible with the cards I have. But let me show what cards I have. So I got three gold characters from combat packs. It's Mordfoon Kitana, Cover Up Cassie Cage and Inferno Scorpion. I think this is pretty good. I got Mordfoon Kitana because I needed someone for my Outworld team because I knew I, I was gonna win Aaron Black. And Mordfoon Kitana is perfect for Aaron Black because she gives one bar of power for every Outworld teammate. Now I need someone else from Outworld. And this will be a very good team. For now I'm just using my Silver Kano, but he is not really good, but he's the best Outworld card I have. Now, my the most prized possession, who was able to bring me this victory, is Silver Kenshi of level 5. Well, actually level 4, because the last match I did with him, he was level 4 of Fusion. And I just bought level 5 to try to defeat Aaron Black boss, but I failed. But all other fights, I was fighting with Kenshi of level 4. And the topic of today's video is how to spend your coins and souls the most efficiently. Where to invest them. And if you're asking me where to invest your coins, I'd suggest you... It depends. If you are you have a few days till the end of the challenge if you still and you still haven't won your character and I'm talking about both normal and hard waves if you still haven't won them you should invest in Kenshi all the coins you get from the challenge all the coins you get from faction was from everywhere just upgrade your silver Kenshi no don't buy this Kano cutthroat Kano I know he's gold and he seems good, but Kenshi is not about, it's not all about the power. My Kenshi was defeating opponents. He could, he could take all the team from the last block of the hard level of challenge just by himself. And not because he is so powerful, his stats are pretty average. But he, you see, he has 40% attack when teamed up with martial artists. So I had Kunjin on my team, so he got 40% attack. And 40% health when teamed with Spec Ops, I had Cassie Cage on my team. So he got 40% health for that. So this made him much more powerful. This is first. The second is his power draining ability. His special one. Well, it doesn't help in a boss battle. But it sure helps in the average battles. You see, and his second special is just amazing. I was using it all the time and I got some equipment for him so guys if you need to finish challenge quickly or if you're stuck in a battle mode and you don't have enough souls for combat pack in the nearest future this is this is your guy so what if you don't have such an urge to to win something today and you have time so what do, should you do with your coins well, let me tell you what you shouldn't do. I think you shouldn't buy equipment pack. It's 70,000 coins. And if you just started, this is pretty much coins, pretty a lot of coins. And the best way you can spend them is to buy a card pack. You have to grow your collection of characters. Since you uh, don't have don't have an uh, don't have a source of souls well, let's face it, souls are limited and you cannot just fight and get more and more souls. You can get souls only for uh, leveling up your account, for battle mode, for daily bonus missions, but it's not that much. I mean, you can uh, get 30,000 coins in like two or three sessions in Faction Wars, but you, you will be collecting 150 souls for combat pack. 
for maybe a week. Of course, if there is no challenge and you haven't uh, reached the top level yet. So, yeah, I would, I would invest in my silver collection if I don't have an urge. I would buy card pack. Well, let me do this now, because now I don't have an urge, because Ronin Kenshi challenge haven't started yet, and I don't know when it's gonna start. But there is no even early access pack, so it means that it can start very... Well, maybe at the moment that you watch this video it will start already, but it's not up now. And we got Dvora. Spikes damage. Well, okay. It's not my favorite character, but we can work with it. We have bigger team now, we can do more battles in Faction Wars now. And from from now on, we have better chance that we'll upgrade one of our existing cards when we buy card pack. One more reason why not to invest in equipment pack. I did it. I did a few videos about equipment packs and if you see them you can you can see that you don't get good equipment often. Usually it's just three uncommon equipment. Sometimes they throw some common equipment there. But you spend 70,000 coins and the beginning at the game of the game it's it's just not worth it. You'll get better equipment if you rank higher in faction wars. To rank higher in Faction Wars, you'll need more characters, so you can uh, you, you can you need more powerful characters, so you get more coins for fights, and you need more characters, so you you can if other teams are drained out, you can use uh, you can use your other characters, and you always have someone to use. So if you don't have like silver team on a very good level a few silver teams i mean all the silver characters at least of level fusion 2 or 3 i wouldn't buy equipment packs you'll get enough equipment from faction rewards sometimes you get equipment from combat pack card pack and sometimes you even get equipment as a bonus in faction wars when you have some some i don't know maybe 20 matches won in a row so if you win a lot of matches in a row, you get equipment cards. Not just equipment cards, I think it's a random card. It can be special upgrades, it can be equipment cards, it can be really anything. There is one more thing that I think is not worth spending coins on. is special 3 or X-ray attacks. Look at my Cassie Cage. I, her special 2 is amazing. That's why I upgraded it the first. But I don't upgrade X-Rays. I update X-Rays only in those characters that I put champions. So they look more powerful to other people. But I never use X-Rays. As you see my Aaron Black. He has his X-Ray on a high level. Because he's my champion and he is bringing me alliance points. So I need him to seem strong. But why don't I use X-rays? Because they're just useless. They take so many time to build up. And if blocked is just a waste. And if, even if not blocked. It takes the same time to build up two special twos. Then one special three. So just do the math. It's always beneficial to use special twos. And for some... Characters, it's even more beneficial to use always special ones. Like Kenshi, he can drain power, so using him only special ones, it's not he. It's not just delivering a huge damage. It's also preventing the, your opponent from delivering a huge damage. So, I think power draining abilities, if it's second or if it's first, it should be used. I use Kenshi's second ability only in in boss battles when power draining is is not working or. When I see that I have huge advantage and I build up special 2 and my opponent have a lot of health, I can just do this super hit from special 2. So yes, and what else wouldn't I invest to is those little cards you see in the bottom. You will be getting these cards 
like in combat packs, in alliance packs you can get them. But you see what they do, they just give you 3% of energy generation. And of, co of course power generation is probably the most, the best card there is, but attack and health they give you only 3% boost and it costs you 5000 and maximum you can get is 15% so you can upgrade these cards to level 4 well what is 15% for example uh, Aaron Black achieves 30% attack against special opts so 15% seem not that much and to make 15% it will cost you 5 cards 5,000 it will cost you 25,000 I think it's just 15% just not worth that much it's worse when when you have a challenge or when you have a battle well battle no because battles you can complete them at any time but if you have a challenge and you need to uh, and you almost you you like you almost defeating your opponent but it's just a little health he has left so in this case it might it might be a good idea to use these cards to make your character a little stronger but for faction wars i just i, I think it doesn't make sense they will just give you stronger opponent well maybe you will get a little more coins from each victory but i think it will be a long long time until it pay, pays off much more beneficial is leveling up your account and fusing it up it's just like the last resort when you just spend your coins on everything you could i think then you can use this but i wouldn't do it if you're a beginner Now about whether buying combat packs, or whether buying packs or buying single single characters. Well, as I said already, I bought like I had Kenshi, Silver Kenshi at level five, and I got two of them from card packs, and I bought three of them for seven thousand. So, as you see, card pack is thirty thousand, and let's let's take a look at silver characters. They start at thirty five thousand and go up to seventy five thousand. So like if you look at it like this you get one character that costs at least 35,000 and two more cards one of them can be even rare equipment sometimes I got this in the card packs and you think that wow it's so beneficial you get you pay less and get more but well yes but you get a random character what if you need to build up a, a strong silver team like for a challenge or something, then you need to, some specific characters to be upgraded. And I think the most the most worthy of this is Kenshi. Well, this this is kind of fun because he's the most expensive. Well, I don't know why Jax Briggs is in here because I I honestly think that Jax is one of the most worthless characters. His special one or special two, they're just well they they are worthless. His special one is is grapple, but I'm sure even even like Sonya Blades or Cassie Cage's special one is much more powerful. I don't know why Jax is in the end, but I haven't met any Jax, not silver, not gold, that will be powerful enough. I've I've tried even f fighting with Nizarion Jax, Revenant Jax on level seven of fusion. And against the same power opponent, he wasn't doing almost any damage. His special was so ridiculous. Like, I, uh, when you use Scorpion, Inferno Scorpion, he can take like half of the health with one uh, special. And Aaron Black's special 2 can destroy the whole opponent. His special 2 is the best thing, the best special 2 in the game. Because it becomes unblockable and critical after if you reach 80% or more of accuracy. So, uh, my opinion, Jax just isn't worth it. Best silver characters, I think, is Scorpion and Kenshi. Yermak is not worth it too, because 
his special one is so easily blocked. Is it if it's blocked, it's it doesn't do any damage. Also, I think Kotal can is uh, his special two is pretty good, but otherwise, I like Sonia Blade and I like Kunjin. They are pretty good. I don't like Johnny Cage, but he has power drain. So he can be pretty useful, but Kenshi has power draining too, and he is more worthy. Even if he is almost twice as expensive, I think he is more worthy for to buying. Well, others, others are okay, but my favorites are Kenshi, Scorpion, and Sonya Blade, and Kunjin. I think Kunjin and Sonya Blade are about the same. Sonya's Blade's second attack is awesome. It's so powerful, and Kunjin's first attack is awesome. So now about gold characters, my favorite gold characters are, let's see, who would, I would never buy gold character from, just for souls, because souls are so hard to obtain, I always buy combat packs, no exceptions. I better build my uh, silver team to the highest level and they will be as much powerful if, if I've used my gold card even once. So my favorite characters are Aaron Black, he's awesome, Inferno Scorpion, he's very awesome too, then I like Assassin Kitana because, then I like Assassin Kitana because she's stabbing you when the, she tags in, I like Possessed Kenshi because he's setting you on fire when he tags in and he's pretty powerful. And Balance Kenshi I like too because he gives spec opt one bar of power. Master of Souls Girmak can take uh, uh, he he can he gets one bar of power for each outworld teammate. So I hope I get this Master of Souls Girmak for my outworld team. It will be very great. Well, Morpho Kitana is pretty good too. She gives one bar of power for every outworld too. Grandmaster Sub Zero is pretty good too because he he can live twice. Cassie Cage, Cassie Cage is amazing. Her special two is awesome and her unblockable chance is very good. So if you got her, just be happy and dance like crazy. Shaolin Master Kung Lao is he's he's okay, nothing special. Quan Chi is nothing special too, just that he can re uh, give another chance to your player and revive him but that's about it nothing nothing really not too powerful not not good specials nothing Aaron Black and Inferno Scorpion rule because Aaron Black special 2 is just amazing it can knock out uh, almost any character just from one hit if you hit at 80% and Inferno Scorpion get gets 200% boost of attack in first six seconds after take in and this is just amazing and I just like his pair I like his style I, I like him so yeah this is what I if this if I got these characters I would be very happy others are okay if you get some crappy character as uh, Kano or Swarm Queen Dwarah or Blood Blood God Kotal Kane you can always well, not always, but sometimes you can use this that trick that I was talking about earlier. You can check out my channel and find this video. And you can always try again. I don't like Dvora at all. Not silver, not gold, but we got her from silver pack. So we have to do something with it. Have to train her. Maybe she will be fighting with Kano. Well, that's pretty much it. My strategy is buying combat packs, always buying, always spending every soul you get on combat packs. Coins you can spend whether on some particular characters that you want to make really strong or buying card packs. Card packs are good because they're cheap and they have two more bonus cards. I will, I'm upgrading my specials only those that I think that are great you can check it just by playing with the character and see which specials are worth upgrading i never upgrade third special or x-ray if i'm not using this character as a champion and that's pretty much it this is my strategy for spending 
coins and souls. If you have an opinion about it, guys, you can just go to comments and let me know what you think. If you like the video, subscribe to my channel. I'm planning to make a lot of great videos. Wow, we got character. Awesome. Okay, thanks guys. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next videos and in my subscribers list. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.